Hey everyone, I'm back again with another r slash relationship advice and this one is titled I found out my wife cheated on me one month into our relationship. Please make sure you like the video and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Let's get right into it. Hello everyone, I'm not sure what I'm looking for here, whether it's validation for my emotions or advice. To start things off, my wife, she will be called AC, and I have been married for a month. Rona couldn't stop me. We've been together for three and a half years and are desperately in love with one another. Also, I apologize for any grammar or spelling mistakes as I'm typing this out on mobile. Our relationship started in March of 2017 when we both met randomly online in a chat room. She had just gotten out of a very abusive relationship and divorced the piece of S. She was in a very low place and having casual S to fill the void in her heart and trying to heal from the abuse. I was depressed and just looking for someone to call my own and had bad relationships in the past. Now I was raised well in my opinion and treat others with respect and love and have done my best to heal this poor girl that has suffered from so many terrible things. With its just emotional support advice, or just plain old love. And AC has grown so much since I first met her into this wonderful and vibrant person with such hope and love for people. AC for me really brought me out of the dark rut I was in my life, and increased my self-esteem and self-worth by a magnitude of a million, and shown me what I want to do with my life and just be a safe, warm place to go to when I'm done. Now, when we both met online, it felt electric and amazing as we both had a taste of what we could do for one another and what this could turn into. Now, let me say that for each of us, it was a tentative eczimer when we first met. She lived in Nevada and I lived in California. And on top of that, we were both looking for someone online, so we were both expecting to get ghosted or that it just wouldn't work out. Fast forward to a week later, and both of us are totally hitting it off. We both are falling for one another. We aren't really acting like a couple, and it's the weird feeling if this is mutually exclusive or not. Anyways, I F up and go to a party where I got drunk and had S with a girl. Come to find out, she was just using me for revenge S on her boyfriend. That's the last I ever see or hear from that lady again. I obviously don't tell anyone and feel incredibly guilty. Later that week, AC surprises me in California and we confirm that we truly have something for one another and make love. After this, I don't think a day has gone by that we haven't talked to one another. Fast forward to a few weeks after we get married and I want to tell her the truth. This is guilt that has been eating at me for a long time and I want to be a good person so I open up to AC about it asking for her to forgive me. She's in tears and she says she does and I feel relief and go to give her a hug and she pushes me away. She looks like she's on the brink of a panic attack and whispers that she did something worse. I freeze because I'm in shock as I didn't expect this from her. She goes on to tell me that a month into us talking and after us being together, all of which is a long distance, she hooked up with the guy that took her virginity and she was her F buddy after her first divorce. I'm stunned and feel numb. I don't know what to say and do or how to feel. We talk for a while and I make it clear that I'm heartbroken and upset with her. She's bawling her eyes out and feels awful. After a night of us trying to deal with this, I forgive her and we cuddle and fall asleep. Now, I haven't quite gotten over the fact and I had another sit-down talk with her expressing how I feel and how I don't know what I want to do. She's very calm and understanding and would like us to continue to be with one another and seek some sort of counseling or therapy together. I might have said something that brought out some emotions for both of us and she called me out for sleeping with that random girl and said that she hadn't had time to cope or process that info and we got in a long talk about how the lines were gray and we didn't have boundaries yet before both of us cheated on the other. Which is true 
and she's right to bring it up, but for me, it doesn't feel like the two are equal or similar. It feels much more significant what she did compared to what I did. I told her as such, and she's in my arms begging me to stay with her and saying she can't lose a good thing like me. I don't want to lose her and told her that I wasn't going anywhere. So I've come to you guys to read if I made the right choice or if I should look to get a divorce or separate or whatever. And if I'm right to feel like her one night stand was worse than mine. Now, I'm sure I've missed some parts of the story and I'm more than willing to answer any and all questions that are asked. That being said, I appreciate all of you and would love to read what you all have to say regardless if it's good, bad, or ugly. And the first advice says, no cheating occurred here. You had no exclusivity arrangement and were in an online only long distance relationship at the time. Further, the argument that yeah, I cheated too, but yours was worse is total BS. You need to apologize to your wife for the way you've reacted here and get over yourself. And the second advice says, I would recommend watching TED Talks and reading articles from Esther Pearl. She works with couples that have experience in fidelity. You both seem very much in love and willing to work through these issues. You shouldn't feel obligated to divorce because you feel she was unfaithful. The emotions are still fresh and it will take time to work through them to rebuild trust. Playing the finger pointing game or saying hers was worse is not constructive for conflict resolution and open slash healthy communication. Much luck to you. I hope that whatever the result ends up being, you find your happiness in the end. And the third advice says, I hope you two can put this behind you and have the marriage that I think you two can. I do not counsel divorce or separation if you two can do that. This wasn't really cheating. What she did wasn't really more significant than what you did even though it feels that way. Not only that, but you two were in some really bad headspace too. So I think, since this wasn't really cheating, this should be forgivable for both of you. I also highly recommend that you quit thinking that what she did was way worse than what you did. It wasn't. If you hold on to that thought because of feelings, you are more likely to be essy to her in the future. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment below and let me know if there's any other subreddits you guys would like me to make videos on and also like the video and please subscribe.